Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of generating additive and multiplicative patterns. This is standard 5.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So which table contains only x values and y values that make the equation true? So we've got y equals 4.8x. One thing we do need to see right there is when you see a number next to a letter, that means multiply. So starting in fifth grade, we really sometimes will drop out the multiplication symbol just because that x looks a lot like our variable x. That dot sometimes looks like a decimal. And so we will sometimes uh, just put a number next to a letter. Sometimes we will use parentheses. If you see like this, 4.8x, that also means multiplication. So let's just start plugging these in. We're going to use our strategy of substitution. That means we're going to take our x values. So we'll start with 2. I can see 2 right here. And look, and I can, I got two different answers, so I can eliminate one of my, one of my options right now. So we're going to say y equals 4.8x, and we will say x equals 2. So we're going to double this. So let's just let's just do that multiplication right here. Let's just say y, let's see, equals, let's just write it correctly. There we go, 4.8 multiplied by 2. So that's where we're going to use the parentheses. And let's just do that multiplication down here. So that's going to be 16, that's 8, that's 9. One digit behind the decimal in the factor, so there's one digit behind the decimal in the product. I've got 9.6. So y equals 9.6. So this is good so far. And this is, no, this h is already, already wrong. So let's take a look at our threes. I've got two different threes I can choose from. So... We are going to say y equals 4.8x. In this case, we're going to say x equals 3. So we will rewrite it as y equals 4.8 times 3. Remember, we're going to show that with parentheses. So let's write that over here. 4.8, still do it vertically, times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. 4 times 3 is 12. Add the 2 back in as we've got... 14. So I've got one digit behind the decimal in our factors, one digit behind the decimal in our product. 14.4. So we can now, look at that, we've eliminated both H and G, but both F and J are in the mix. So let's just keep moving up. Let's go 4. Let's say Y equals 4.8 x in this case we'll say x equals 4 so y equals 4.8 times 4 with parentheses there so let's do that 4.8 times 4 so 8 times 4 is 32 4 times 4 is 16 add the 3 back in is 19 one digit upon the decimal in the factor one digit upon the decimal in my product i've got 19.2 so y equals 19.2. We are looking good here. And this is still incorrect there. So f is still looking good. Let's check my fives. So let's say y equals 4.8x. X equals 5. So y equals 4.8 times 5. So 4.8 times 5. That's going to be 40. 24. So it's just going to be plain old... 24, we got the decimal there. So, wow, it looks like we really dropped off. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. So G and J are both incorrect. So it looks like we are, we've are. we got incorrect answers all the way around. So we've just got these two left. If you want to go back and check, this is going to be a times 4.8. That is going to be correct for both 6 and 8. So our answer here is F. 